Hi there, Libra, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of April the 8th through to the 14th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Libra. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Sun in the upright, followed then by the Four of Wands upright. Next, we have Major Arcana, the Hermit in the upright, followed then by the Page of Pentacles in the upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, Judgment. So you have three Major Arcana here. And all of your cards are in the upright position. Looks like it could be an intense week for you here, Libra. But the sun will be shining on you. What a beautiful energy to have as your overall Leo energy. The sun is shining bright on Libra this week. So beautiful energy representing high vitality. It represents success, attainment. And when I say high vitality, this is where we feel alive again. Some of you perhaps um, could be feeling that sun shining on your face. Maybe you're just really enjoying the change of weather if you are experiencing it this week. And it's feeling great having that sun on your face after a long drawn out winter. <laughs> For others of you, this could represent coming back again after a period of maybe like sometimes you know the sun in reverse is a little bit about feeling down under the weather feeling depressed feeling not the highest of energy when the card is upright this is where boom solar plexus is activated big time and we feel confident we feel alive we feel ready to take on the world this is high energy it's a bounce back from feeling the blues or feeling sick and uh, like ill and unwell. This is just basically the opposite of that. That's wellness. You come into the week with the Four of Wands. You have arrived, Libra. You have arrived and completed something. This is a beautiful energy. Four of Wands can represent... Um, a uh, completion of a project, perhaps, especially if you're working with other people and you had been, um, you know, sort of striving to get to that point where the foundation is now laid. Like, say, for example, if you had been, you know, renovating a home, maybe this is where the, the, the interior is all finally done now. We can you know, have the housewarming party, the big reveal. If you had just moved into a place and finally got it ready, this is something that has been in the works for a while, but it's just a bit of a completion now. That's why I always say you have arrived. It's time to celebrate that success. It's hard earned success. Sometimes it can represent putting the finishing touches on a relationship that you have been growing for a few years. It could be four years where it finally feels like it's on solid ground. It could be uh, due to the fact that maybe now you're getting wet, uh, wedded, <laughs> wedded, I was going to say, maybe you're getting married. You could be moving in together. You could be buying a house together, that kind of thing. It's where you make the commitment. You know that you're solid and you're in it for the long haul. It's that kind of energy. It also can happen when we are building a business. Maybe finally something happens that puts the last piece of the puzzle in place. So you can now finally say yes you know, we have succeeded. A lot of times when you're starting a business, it takes about four years for it to solidify. So maybe this is where you finally turn that corner. This is about a milestone happening. It's a beautiful energy and it's right at the beginning of the week for you. Next card up is the Virgo energy. We have the Hermit in the upright position. Well, this is the card that represents uh, needing to withdraw, go within for some reason or another. Sometimes it's for, you know, just to learn more about the self, to be more withdrawn and uh, try to do some soul searching, so to speak. Sometimes the Hermit will come up and it does make sense if we are a student and we are cramming for exams or something like that. It can also come up when it comes to research, maybe this is um, a research situation where you need to research. Maybe you want to go and work for a certain company and you need to put in the research, right? So you need to go, you know, discover everything you can discover about that particular company or something like that. 
others of you could be researching you know you know destinations to go you could be researching places to move to or companies to work for anything like that remember these are just general reads so just take what makes sense in your situation page of pentacles follows this in the upright position this is earth energy taurus virgo capricorn you could be dealing with a, a earth sign um, it could be somebody who is younger sometimes it can represent um you know scholarship it could be somebody is getting it maybe it's you that's getting a scholarship uh, perhaps you're getting some funding from it you could be getting news or information about finances um, you could be um, getting a message about potential employment as well with the page of pentacles this can also represent indeed a uh, apprenticeship role. Maybe you're being messaged about an apprenticeship situation or role. Last card you have is the judgment in the upright position. This is weekend energy. This represents a resurrection, something coming back again from the past, something you may have thought was done and dusted. And it could be some of you, you're getting a message from someone from the past. Now, remember, you have free will. We all have free will. Just because somebody returns from the fan does not mean that you have to open them, open up your, you know, your heart, your arms or your door to anyone who comes back. Uh, everybody is allowed to do what they like. If they would like to reach out to you, let them reach out to you. And, uh, you know, sometimes people just use these experiences as closure or sometimes they rekindle. So it's just up to you what you're going to do with the opportunity. Sometimes this can indicate an opportunity from the past. Could be a past company you worked for or people you were associated with. Now it's they're coming back again, coming back around. Again, you can choose to walk away from the opportunity or you can choose to move into it. You need to make a judgment call on that. For others of you, this could represent a, a spiritual awakening and a how moment, for example, where you see something from a completely different on a different level. And, um, you know, because the hermit is here too, so it could be that you are doing some self, you know, searching and uh, you're realizing some things and it could be at the end of the week. By the weekend, you have kind of like that light bulb moment, that aha moment that helps you to see things in, uh, s you know, such a completely different light. But look at this beautiful energy here. You have both the sun and the four of wands. You have arrived. <laughs> what a great week it looks like for you Libra can't wait to hear from you in the comment section below and um, this I want to remind you all of the Sunday night podcast that will be airing this Sunday on uh, April the 7th April the 8th is that big uh, solar eclipse that everybody's talking about where uh, Marie Moore will be on the channel we'll be discussing um, all of the situation that's going on and all the hype around it as well as um she'll be uh you know giving us some planetary direction and maybe hopefully we'll be talking about how it's going to affect uh each one of the signs so i'd hope to see you there in the chat if not come and be a part of the live audience just watch it live or you can come back and watch it in the replay if you can't be there it is airing at 6 p.m uh, central time. So hope to see you there and hope you have a fantastic week. Thank you so much for joining me. And also I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.